Hip hop is a cultural movement associated primarily with rap music. The elements include being a master of ceremonies, DJing, breaking graphs, and beatboxing. The holy trinity of early hip hop is a term used to recognize the three founders of this movement. Hip hop pioneers included Cool Herc, Grandmaster Flash, and Africa Bambata. It became popular in the 1980s and 1990s as background music for rap, the musical style that incorporates rhythmic and rhyming speech and has become the most enduring and important art form in the movement. From its infancy to the present day, the 21st century has seen a remarkable evolution of the hip-hop industry. Here are the highest-selling hip-hop albums of all time. Lauryn Hill, The Miseducations of Lauryn Hill, 1998 It can be said that The Miseducations of Lauryn Hill mark a turning point for hip-hop and popular music in general. Hill broke the record for best-selling first-week albums by an artist in the 20th century. The album entered the US Billboard 200 at number 1. The title track was also one of the top 10 entries on the Billboard 100, an unprecedented chart position for a female rapper. At the 41st Grammy Awards, The Miseducations of Lauryn Hill was awarded 10 nominations in various categories. The most prestigious of these allocates is the Grammy Award for Album of the Year which was awarded to this album, making it the first hip-hop album to win the award. The Library of Congress recognized the cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance of Lauryn Hill's album in 2015 by adding it to the National Recording Registry. 20 million copies of this masterpiece and cultural monsters have been sold. MC Hammer, Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him, 1990 There has never been a hip-hop artist before MC Hammer whose album has sold 10 million copies. Please Hammer Don't Hurt Him is their third studio album and their most successful to date. The album dominated the top R&B or hip hop albums chart for a total of 28 weeks and spent 21 weeks at the top of the US Billboard 200 charts, with great success in singles like You Can Touch This. Many movie and TV shows have used this song in their soundtracks. MC Hammer has received criticism for including samples of songs from other musicians on his album. A copyright infringement case on Rick James' You Can't Touch This was settled out of court when MC Hammer recognized James as a song co-writer. Samples on the album include songs by Prince, James Brown, Faith No More, and Barry White. Please Hammer Don't Hurt Him was the best-selling album of 1990 in the United States and has 17 million copies worldwide. Beastie Boys Licensed to Ill 1986 In the United States, rap group Beastie Boys first appeared in 1981. They have been the best-selling rap group since Billboard began setting sales records in 1991, and they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2012. Def Jam Record Company and Columbia Records music label collaborated to create License to Ill. The album was certified diamond in the US, gold in the UK, and double platinum in Canada and sold a total of 10 million copies worldwide. Outkast, Speaker Box, The Lover Below, 2000 entry. Outkast was an American hip-hop duo formed in 1992 consisting of rappers Andre 3000 and Big Boy. The duo is widely accepted as one of the most important and influential hip-hop artists of all time. With over 510,000 copies sold in its first week, the album lapped straight to the top of the Billboard 200. The album took home album of the year and best rap album at the 46th Grammy Awards. Eminem, The Marshall Mathers LP 2000 Marshall Bruce Mathers III is widely regarded as one of the most talented and successful rappers of all time. It is safe to say that Eminem's success was a major factor in reducing racial tensions in the hip-hop industry. To date, 25 million copies of the album has been sold, earning it 11 times platinum from the Recording Industry Associations of America. Eminem, The Eminem Show 2002 Eminem's show debuted at number 1 on the Billboard 200 and ran for 6 non-consecutive weeks. With nearly 1.3 million albums sold in the second week, the album surpassed all others to become the best-selling album of 2002 in the United States and worldwide. In 2022, the project was certified 12 times platinum by the RIAA with global sales of 27 million copies. It is also worth noting that the album reached number one in 18 other nations. At times, hip-hop's negative connotations have been more influential than the music itself. However, People may miss the message expressed through music. There is no denying the enormous influence these records have had on hip-hop culture. With that being said, it's time to end today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out.